Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so I want to share the story with you. Um, it's actually about her, Stella. She's drinking it. All you see is her bum. By the way, I'm sorry. My house is like a bit of a mess because I'm doing some projects today and I'm not finished, so I'll clean after. Um, so have you ever wondered if your dog would protect you? I always wondered that. Uh, Stella's five years old and uh, I know she protects the property. Like once we were in New Hampshire, we were renting Airbnb in the middle of the forest and there was like a mama bear with two baby bears and she woke us up at 5 a.m. She was like going at it, like just barking. But I always like wondered, would she protect me from a person? Like if it's not like, you know, the other side of the fence, if it's not on the other side of a door or a window, would she actually have the courage to protect me? And Stella, come. <laughs> I want her in a shot while I'm doing this. Stella, come. Come, come my love. Her cushion is a bit messy because she had so much bones and stuff to eat oh and you're you're running um so if you didn't know stella's actually my service dog look stella's service dog um uh, because i do have uh anxiety when i go to public places like in very crowded areas like let's say malls or costco costco is like my nightmare actually so i bring her with me and she keeps me from having like panic attacks I can't stop kissing her. I love her so much because I'm proud of her. And um, basically, I always wondered, would she actually protect me if anything was to happen? She's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> um, but I never, like, tested. I never trained her for that. I did, like, teach her how to grab and let go. If ever there was a situation like that, that someone would attack me. Not that anyone attacked me today. But I did get my answer today, and I'll share it with you. Uh, Stella. Hello. Hello. This is what happens when you have a Doberman. They just... So come, lay down. Come, come, come on. Like, I love you too. Look. <laughs> oh my God. So today we went to Home Depot. Actually went there by bicycle. So she had her harness and she was pulling uh, me on the bicycle to go to Home Depot. And she loves going there because we have our plumber friend and we were doing some, like, some plumbing things. Actually, it's in relationship with the, uh, the video I uploaded yesterday. I'm setting up reverse osmosis, central system and stuff. Uh, so I brought her with me. I went there once, like after work, and she wasn't with me. And he's like, oh, where's Stella? I'm like, okay, okay, I still need some stuff. I went back with her. And uh, we're just standing waiting on him to finish with another client. There was about like 10 people around us all waiting for that. And she's super nice in public. Like she's gentle. She would never like go to someone. Like it's basically do not pet. <laughs> so she was taught not to go to people. Uh, so we we're all quietly like waiting in line for uh, my friend to finish with the other clients and get to me. And um, all of a sudden this uh, this construction guy turns in onto the aisle of plumbing where we were and he walks very fast paced and very strong like boom 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 and he had a set of keys and like in her mind he was walking towards me in an aggressive stance well let me tell you she protected me <laughs> no she didn't attack me or anything because i have very very good control over it like if i tell her it's okay and you stop whatever you're doing she stops but she was like standing high alert like I heard like her inside throat start growling she's like mm. it was like like she was ready to defend me it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen her do like I didn't think she would actually ever protect me from an actual being in person yes <laughs> like she's giving the paw like you, you know it's different seeing like someone coming towards your car and she's inside the car with you and it's just through the window you know like it's, it's kind of like when you're saying dumb stuff on YouTube to people that you don't actually meet in person. But that was like, <laughs> that was in front of us. And he was heading towards me like really, really quickly and like really strong. I guess he was in a hurry. Like the guy didn't want to kill me or anything. He was just in a hurry heading towards us in a very aggressive stance. Okay, that, that's better. That's better. There you go. So, um... So basically, she was there and she, she defended me. And I, it took me a couple of times to tell her it's okay because she's like, are you sure, mom? Are you sure it's okay? Like, are you sure he's not going to kill you or anything? But he passed us 
And then right away she fell back and she felt, oh no, my attitude wasn't what it's supposed to be in public. You know, in public she started to be quiet, nice. She right away laid down. Like, I didn't even ask her anything. She just laid down and she yawned. And usually a yawn for a dog, it's not tired. A yawn, a forced yawn for a dog basically means calm down. I will calm myself down or it's like an apology also. So, uh... Stella apologized to me for like misbehaving because in her mind it was a misbehavement but I totally understand like why she reacted the way she did and I'm like super proud of her like now I know she's gonna have my back like don't she come running at me um she actually like no she did well basically what she really does uh when I'm standing somewhere like uh, waiting like in line um, instead of like sitting and facing the way I'm facing, she's always going to face my back. Like she would sit next to me, but face the back of myself. So she always watches who's coming from the back and I always know if there's someone coming or coming too close to us because she's going to like, she's going to, she's going to make a little jump to let me know, Hey mom, there's something or from a sitting position to a standing position. And she's going to yank a little bit at her harness and Hey, there's something behind us. But I never thought she would actually like, like actually protect me. So like, I'm so like, I hope you can see. She's so cute. Dobermans are the best. <laughs> like I love all dogs, but I um, absolutely love this one. She's so cool. So um, yeah, guys, uh, let me know if your dog has ever protected you or done something really courageous. Um, I find dogs are so much more courageous than we are like. Like her alerting us that there was bears and she would have probably went after those bears, you know, if we would have let her outside, but she would have probably not won against the bear. But I find that dogs are so courageous, you know, like I would never like do stuff like that. Yes, he's so cute. Yeah, so share with me your stories if your dog has ever protected you or done something awesome or out of the ordinary. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content. There's a lot more content coming. As always, there's a lot of content here. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.